Borderlands 3, but every time I level up, I lose absolutely everything. And starting off from last time, as I've just made it onto the Sanctuary ship, and I will now be heading to the planet of Promethea. And the first area on Promethea is the Meridian Outskirts. And the first thing I do when I get down here is kill a bunch of Ratchers, but I didn't realise that I was so close to levelling up, and now I have to drop everything with no loot around. But luckily the wretch I killed dropped a white rarity weapon, but it's too high of a level to use. And after checking a few different sources in that area, I couldn't find anything for my level, so I head back to Sanctuary, and I'm just gonna have to buy something from some vendors. And the first thing I get is this purple rubberized Raider Thumper. Not sure what it does, but it was the highest rarity there, so I got it. Then the same again with the weapon vendor, and I just grabbed the only purple rarity thing there, the deadly Korokow. Again, no clue what it does, but we'll have to see. Then as I nearly forgot to grab a shield, I head to Tannis' place, and I get my first legendary of the entire run. And basically what the Impaler does is when I get shot, it shoots homing spikes back at the attacker. So hopefully it's good enough, and let's head back to Promethea. Then we meet with Lorelei, who seems to be in the game for a total of 3 minutes. And as I get in the car, she tells me to follow her to get to a little hideout. And it's full of Atlas guys. I'm guessing they're somehow the good guys now. Not sure how that happened, but it's probably in Tales of the Borderlands. Then a bunch of Malawan guys attack us, and they suck ass. And after fighting all of them, I head to the Meridian Metroplex, because that's where Reese is. And I have to find him because of reasons. Then it's just time for a bunch of killing of all these Malawan guys for like a total of 5 minutes straight. And then finally make it through all of them and I meet Reese's hologram. So, nearly there. Then I check all the vendors near me and they say that they need to be level 12 to buy anything. And I'm sitting at level 8 so I'm a little bit under leveled. But I'll be fine, right? So I continue with the main missions and I finally get to drive one of these wheel thingos. And they are by far the most fun thing to drive in this game. Then I get stuck. So I have to walk the rest of the way, but thankfully all I had to do was walk 10 seconds. Then, wouldn't you believe it, I get to fight another fucking load of Malawan people. Then after I'm done with all of that, I finally meet Zero. But then, with Zero, I have to go and secure this Malawan Weapons Depot. Then a whole 5 minutes later, after I'm very close to being done with this, I sadly reach level 9 and have to drop everything I have. I never thought it would be this hard to drop a legendary shield, but it was. And because I was too under level to get any items in the entirety of the Meridian Metroplex, I have to head back to these vendors in the Meridian outskirts and see what I can buy. And holy shit, the first thing that shows up is a legendary fastball grenade mod. And I also get a purple shield. And because there was only one enemy left in the Malawan's weapon depot, I decided to head there and kill him with my grenades, because there was no weapons vendor in the Meridian outskirts. But then as I get back, the whole place is full of enemies again. So sadly, I think they respawned, and I will now have to go and get some actual weapons from Sanctuary. But I did test out the fastball, and it's absolutely shit. I really do understand nerfing it a little bit, but to the point where it takes three of them to kill a normal heavy gunner. That's just made it basically useless. Or is that how it is with every grenade in this game? Because if so, I might be screwed because I did want to try a grenade's only run on this game. But as I get back to Sanctuary, I realise I cannot afford the weapons here, so I'll have to go to Moxie's place and use the Iridium slot machine to make some money. And it worked because now I can afford the Harden Accelerator Plus. You know it's good if it has a plus in it. There's no way the gun can be bad. The gun was bad. I can't believe I was lied to. This thing is terrible. My whole life is a lie. How is plus a bad gun? It just makes no sense. But I ended up killing everyone off, and now I get to loot the weapons depot full of weapons I cannot fucking use. Then Zero gives me a unique sniper that I also cannot use. But anyway, now it's time to fight Gigamind. If he was really that smart, wouldn't he be the leader of Malawan by now? But anyway, now it's time to fight. He absolutely kicked my ass. This gun I have is terrible. And because I really didn't think I had a single chance of beating him, I head back to Sanctuary to go for another gun. And I grab this sublime quasar and this compressing shockwave shotgun, so hopefully they'll kill him. So I head back to Gigamine for a second try at killing this asshole, and it turns out that the Quasar is quite terrible, and I mean the shotgun's also quite terrible. 
but I do end up getting him down to very low health and finally finishing him off. And I really had no problem, it just took quite a long time. And look at that, he drops a legendary. But I can't even use it at all. So while I'm on my way to the watershed base, I'm just crying the entire time. Then for some reason, instead of continuing the main missions like a normal person would, I decide to go and try and kill Killer Vault. It makes no sense to me why I would do this, but I mean, I don't know anymore. So I head to Electra City and it's time to go and see if I can actually kill this guy. Then I grab the fast travel point and check all the ammo vendors. And holy shit, there's a fastball just sitting there and I still will never be able to use that because it and along with everything else here is level 13 and then I got scared so I decided to leave this place and do a couple side missions. And I start off with the technical nog out mission where basically you capture a couple of nogs. I know it sounds fucked up but it's not that deep. But anyway, after you capture them, you then take him back to some guy named Quinn and you use them to kill a bunch of Malawang dudes. And then after the first guy I kill, I reach level 10 and have to drop everything. And this one was especially sad because I had two different legendaries. Even though I couldn't use one of them, the fastball was really sad to see go. But then very luckily for me, I remembered that I opened a chest earlier in this place and it had level 10 weapons. So I have at least one weapon to use against these guys, even though it's pretty terrible. But then 10 minutes after starting the mission, I finally finish it. And the entire time during that fight, I couldn't do anything else but stare at those damn legendaries. Then I quickly did a mission called Healers and Dealers, and I was supposed to get a unique weapon, I think. But I missed an extra objective, and I did not get the unique. So that was basically just a massive waste of time. Then I went to Sanctuary to stock up with a lot of weapons to fight Killer Vault. And I also did the Chloran Order mission for Marcus, and it gave me a nice level 13 gun that I cannot use. So I think I might be a little bit special. And to be able to even fight Killer Vault, you have to kill all three of his token holders. And that would be Trudy, Jenna, and Lena. So I start off with Trudy, and damn, she is tanky. And I died twice before on the third try, finally killing her. And also grabbing the token. Then we move on to Jenny and she was so much easier to kill, mainly because there weren't so many enemies around her like there were with Trudy. So I grab her token and move on to Lena. And this time Lena had a lot of enemies with her but I found a spot and I finally killed her. Then grabbed her token and it's time to go to Killer Vault. Then after Moxie gave me her token, I gave it to Killer Vault and it shocked him and weakened him. So now he doesn't have a massive shield around him but he is still going to be quite strong. And holy shit, that is not enough damage. Then after seeing two of his attacks, I decide I cannot do this, so I decide to run away. The door seems locked, so I just quit. So I decide to head to Sanctuary to do another side mission so I can level up and get a bunch of new weapons to kill him with. Then the fucking game crashed. So that will be it for this video, and next time I will definitely kill Killer Vault. And please, if you got any tips on killing him or any more challenge ideas for any of these games, Please let me know in the comments and thank you for watching.